Good morning. Happy Vlogmas Day 7, right? 7? Um, I just got up something. I don't know. Well, let's see what the day holds for us. But first, let's see what those advent calendars hold for us. Door 7, my favorite door out of the whole advent calendar is the baby. Look at that. I try my hardest not to rip this. Because it's cute. Oh, does it start coming out? Whoa. Oh, it's stuck in there again. It looks like two necklaces. I wonder if these, these necklaces so far haven't been to... Ooh. For some reason, some of them, they're not in zip bags, but a lot of them were in zip bags. Isn't that weird? This one is a star and a moon silver necklace, and the other one is a heart that says Nana? Nana? I really like this one. It's really small and dainty. I'm not going to sing or hum or anything like I've done for the last seven days. Gonna really take it out. Oh, we just have one more left in this row. Still, till we start on the second row, which is French vanilla. Holidays. Am I saying that right? And I just usually put a little bit of cream. Is that really cool effect? I don't know why I find that so interesting. Ah, okay, this is French vanilla, which I've actually had a lot of. I'm not quite tasting like this. This tastes better. Maybe, maybe I'm working on that batch to certify me as a coffee taster. I put on the little moon and stars. Happy Vlogmas Day 8. I just got up. You haven't seen me in just a little bit. I think we, where did I leave off? Where we opened those advent cal can calendars yesterday. And, um... We opened this necklace. I'm still wearing it. The moon and stars. Um, we gotta open them for today. I didn't vlog the rest of yesterday, uh, December 7th, because I didn't do much because I'm still not 100% yet. I feel pretty good, but I just needed to take a rest. So I just watched a Christmas movie and I basically rested. I didn't do much yesterday. I get up and I couldn't edit. I couldn't even think because my head hurt so bad. But I'm all behind on uploading my Vlogmas videos. So I think I'll combine a few and then maybe I can... Uh, catch up since I am feeling better. And I'm almost 100%. Why don't we open the advent doors for today? Okay, so what are we at? We're at 8, which is this adorable cute little bunny. It was all wrapped up in there. Now as you can see, it's like this long chain with like kind of rose gold diamonds. It's actually, it's really nice. I really like it. I'm gonna feel all, it looks all fancy for me to put on with this Christmas onesie. <laughs> Is that funny? Okay, let's do the chocolate one. I didn't do the chocolate one yesterday either. So let's open seven and eight today. All right, we got a piece of chocolate. And it looks like a bell. Mmm, nice piece of milk chocolate. I usually don't eat super sweet things in the morning, but I um, Actually, this milk chocolate isn't super sweet. I've come to find after I've opened seven days of it and not even having some in some of the days. It's actually kind of nutty, and it's not actually super sweet, which is weird because milk chocolate is always sweet. Dark chocolate's always better, you know? Anyways, let's read the Bible. Bow joyfully to God, all you on the earth. Sing of his glorious name and give him glorious praise. Psalm 66, verse two. That was great. Okay, let's find eight. Eight's kind of with these holly bells right here. Whatever you call them. Oh, nothing's in here. No oh, piece of chocolate. Oh, that's okay. We know that it's probably stuck in another door. We'll eat it later, I guess. But let's read the Bible verse. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world shall be enrolled. Luke 2, verse 1. I know that uh, these advent calendars kind of, they're kind of cheap. And you can see the quality control is kind of weird. Like some of the necklaces are in bags. Some even aren't in zip top bags. And then as you can see, somebody broke, kind of broke that advent calendar, so the chocolate went to the bottom. But I have actually been really enjoying them. I didn't have a whole lot of money to spend on advent calendars this year. So I kind of just kind of went for the cheap ones. But I got to say, I really like them because, you know, this one, it's so nice to look at. I like the Bible verses. I like reading a Bible verse every day. Like what Bible verse is going to be? And the necklaces out of here, I do like. Like some of them, um, I'm not going to wear like the Nana, Nana one. Did it say Nana? And stuff like that. But I love jewelry and collecting jewelry because I actually make necklaces. So if there is something in here that I don't like or something, one of the necklaces that I get in here, I can still 
use it by mixing it up, like changing the chain or something like that. Like, it's just fun for me. And my sister really uh, likes jewelry too. We like wearing jewelry. She likes wearing necklaces and earrings. She's just as excited to open it as me because she's like, oh, what was in your jewelry advent calendar today? And I show her and then she like really likes it and I give it to her and she wears it. I give her that circle-y one that we opened. What was that, day one? Was that day one? Day two? I don't know. The days are getting mixed up. I, I don't even know. I'm filming so much. And I gave one to my mom because she really liked the mom holding the baby. Kind of because it like we talked about that one was kind of like Mary holding Jesus So I gave that one to her because she really liked it I think it's so fun to play with costume jewelry like makeup things or just wear them as is and stuff like that Let's face the Christmas list. Can we check anything off of it? I feel like it's already eight days in and I haven't even looked at the list to check things off because I've been doing things on the list But then I have a checklist. I don't know. Let's go over the list. It's from day one So Christmas shopping and getting a Christmas tree. We decorated the Christmas tree now I don't know about Christmas shopping because I just maybe have to get like a couple of things here and there But I basically done all my Christmas shopping because I started in November um, and then we we got stuff from like Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree. It's really bright so I don't know if you can see it but it's written in green and then my checker offer which I'm gonna put a little check mark to it is red so it's red and green I thought that was fun. So let's check off Christmas shopping and Christmas tree. Now decorating. I think we're done decorating. Maybe a little couple things here and there maybe I want to put some lights up here but I think we're done decorating and we did the manger and we did other things so I think well, Jesus ain't in the manger yet until Christmas Eve. We get to put him in there uh, during Christmas Eve in the manger. That's going to be fun. Um, but I don't know why my voice is so gravelly today. Oh, I don't know. But anyways, I think I can check off decorating because I think we're done. We may add things here and there, but we're done. Okay, light advent candles. We've already lit the second one and we have to continue to do it throughout December. We already lit two, so we're halfway there. I'll put two check marks right there and then I'll have to put two more check marks to light the other two when we get there. So yes. Open advent calendars. We have stuck to it. I don't think we missed one day. Just yesterday I didn't open the chocolate one because I didn't film the rest of the day and I usually do that one at night. So we didn't do that one last night but we've done it every day and I so far I think that it's fun. It's kind of exciting actually because they're not normal. I'll do one check mark and maybe we'll put another check mark of course when we make it the rest of the day. Watch a classic Christmas movie. I don't think I've done this yet. We haven't watched a classic Christmas movie because I've just been kind of watching some different Hallmark movies, but those aren't classic Christmas movies like Home Alone or The Santa Claus. I think I really want to watch The Santa Claus 2 tonight. I don't know if we get to it uh, because it's one of my favorite uh, classic Christmas movies. It's one of my favorite Christmas movies because it's just so funny. I love the story about it. You know, I gotta get married. Wow. One mistake in 900 years. Didn't he say that? Or how many ever years? But anyways, I really like that movie, so we gotta watch classic Christmas movies. Watch a new Christmas movie. Hmm. We haven't completed this one yet because I, I don't know which one. Listen and play Christmas music. Why haven't we done that? It's eight days into December and I haven't done that. Me getting frustrated pushing this pen. <laughs> Listen to a new Christmas song. No, I haven't done that yet. And bake Christmas cookies. Now this one we're not going to write off for a little while because that's right before Christmas, you know, Christmas Eve. We actually bake the Christmas cookies. So that's a little later down in Vlogmas. And then read the book of Luke. I have been reading the book of Luke every uh, day. It's on verse 8 now. So um, I really enjoyed that too because I love the New Testament and I really like reading, you know, Luke. I've been enjoying that. You know, I'll put one check mark there. We'll add more check marks to these the more weeks we go in. This pen's like red pen and like running out of ink or something. So we'll just put one check mark there and we'll put another when we uh, read more Luke. I really want to play my keyboard because I haven't played it in months. Got out of the groove of it. I need to get back. I open our Advent coffee calendar. It's not even actually opening, but I kind of just pull them out random. So it's kind of a surprise. Why don't we do that so we can get some coffee? All right, we've finished the first half of coffee. Now let's move on to the next half of coffee. Pull out the divider. Get it. Pull one out. Yeah. Yeah. We got hazelnut. I've had hazelnut before. You've probably seen in my other past videos that I get the Great Value Walmart hazelnut coffee, and I really like it. It's a little more flavorful than that hazelnut coffee that I get but I really like it because I really like hazelnut. Now the reality sinking in where I gotta go charge all of the lights that I put up. The lights that are in our little pink Christmas tree that I did my nails. The pink lights that are with the Christmas tree need to be charged. Now I gotta start charging all the lights. Yeah. 
You know, this necklace kind of reminds me of a rosary. stuck in my head but I don't know what song it is I just heard it on a commercial anyways so I'm back because I wanted to show you what I got for Black Friday so kind of a Black Friday haul I wanted to show you earlier in this week what I got for Black Friday um, because everything that I ordered for Black Friday it literally came like two or three days later so I didn't have to wait and I wanted to do it right away in vlogmas but I didn't get to it because one item didn't come. So I was like, I'll wait. And then it's been a, it's been a little while since Black Friday. Because I got the last item that I ordered yesterday. So I was just waiting on that one item. And I went to do a Black Friday haul. Which is what we're doing. First thing I got on sale on Amazon is this mini ring light. I don't know. It's help you take pictures and stuff like that. I really wanted a ring light that can be more portable. Well, it's not portable. You have to plug it into the wall or some kind of power source. So it's not really portable. But you can put your... Phone. I don't have my phone, but you can put your phone like here. I don't know. I haven't really tried the phone thingy out, but I just wanted a handheld one if I wanted to quick film something real quick, and I couldn't fit my big ring light because this big this ring light is that I have is so big it takes up a lot of space. So I just want to grab this really quick and like show a ring of light. Another thing I got is, which is no surprise, is some fine line liquid liner. And I've just been really needing black eyeliner forever now. Oh, by the way, my hair is all wet. Because I, today, I had a very productive day today. I did a apple cider vinegar soak on my hair. It's not a soak, sorry. It's like a rinse. Like you uh, put apple cider vinegar a little bit of it into warm water and then you rinse your hair with it. And it balances out the pH. Or I don't know, it balances out something with your hair to make it more like healthy. You do it every once in a while, I guess. I don't know, my sister told me about it and she does it with her hair and she encouraged me to do it with my hair. And actually I love doing it just every like two or three weeks because it makes my hair really shiny. And I, I don't know if this is like me just looking at my hair, but I feel like it, it gives like really definition to my hair. I, d I don't know how to explain it. It's like I have, I already have highlights from the sun, but it really brightens those highlights in my hair. I don't know. I always do the cat wing eyeliner look when I do my makeup because that is my favorite look because it's like a cat eye and I love cats. It's my favorite animal. Uh, so it is my favorite thing to do. So I need some liquid liner. I really like the liquid liner where it's just like this fine tube tip or anything. I guess markers are fine too, but I just really like this. I feel like I can just get more accuracy with it. And another thing is I always buy the LA Colors one at Dollar. That is the one that I wear all the time. But this was on a Black Friday deal for $1.99. So I thought that's only a couple more cents than the Dollar Tree one. Why not try it out? Because the Dollar Tree one doesn't last at all. I know that it doesn't last, but I really like like the brush. Oh, I got the copy of a calendar, which you know very well because it's in every single one of these Vlogmas videos. And I talk about it all the time. It's behind me. I actually got this on a Black Friday deal. And I also got the jewelry advent calendar that we're opening for a Black Friday deal too. It's great that this all this stuff came before December 1st um, because then I wouldn't open these advent calendars, but it came in time. And then I got a SD card, which I'm filming with right now. The only way you're seeing me and that I'm filming this footage right now is because I had to buy a brand new SD card and a brand new card reader because my laptop SD card port thingy that you put the SD card in to move the files so I can edit my videos is just so wonky I don't even use it and it's an expensive laptop but the SD card re reader is just junk okay junk not all the stuff came before December 1st because I really wanted to start vlogmas on December 1st is when you start it but literally my microphone broke my SD card reader broke and my SD card broke a little behind the scenes you almost didn't even see me on December 1st everything was broken I still haven't gotten another mic of course because those are $80 those like rotor mics they might be cheaper now I haven't checked maybe a smaller one might be cheaper so I'm sorry if sometimes I have audio problems I don't know even know where the mic like the mic where you talk into is on the camera so I might I might put my finger <laughs> because I don't even know. I plan to do Vlogmas. I said I was going to do it. So bring a shine. I'm doing it. Uh, this card reader I got on a Black Friday deal. I didn't get a Rotomac on a Black Friday deal. And then it came before December 1st. So it was a very, it was a blessing. Oh, I got to put the, the batteries that I'm charging for this. Remember we plugged them in earlier. But I am so happy because I got a lot of productive things done today. 
Let me put this. I put it back in my Christmas tree. I still got my kitty lamp, by the way. I just charged it. it. Still works. Remember? Probably one of my first videos in the top 10 was me getting this my first year on YouTube. And that was in 2017. It's been a long time. Funny, I got that onesie that I've been wearing and this. Isn't that funny how much time passes? Even though it feels like no time has passed. Anyways, yeah, and then I worked on my planner. Trying to fill out December here. This plans have been, this is what I got so far. Not that terribly too impressive, but I'm just trying to do like a red and green and like Christmas bulb themed. What's that? And then let's get it started on the hot, other hot and Also today, I got a $30 gift card from Born Pretty because I make videos about Born Pretty products. If you watch my channel, you know that I review a lot of Born Pretty products. And how that works is Born Pretty sends me products like, uh, I think last time, what did they send me? Some of their Gel X nails that I did on my sister. Yeah, I think that's the last Born Pretty video I did. They send me that free product and then I make a video for them. So I'm not paid at all. I'm just, they just give me the product for free. I don't actually get paid for making the video. I get paid in the free product because I want it because I've always liked Born Pretty. Ever since I started doing my nails, I've always used Born Pretty. I mostly use their stamping, but now I've gotten into their gel polish and their gel extensions and stuff like that because that's what they sent, send to me. But I love it. So when they ask me to do videos for their products, I always do them because it just comes naturally to me because I always use Born Pretty product because they're cheap and affordable and they're good. Quality is there, especially in their magnetic cat eye gels love those some of my favorite gel polishes my favorite red burgundy gel glitter is a born pretty and then their reflective polishes are really cool too and then i use their watercolor gel like i just use a bunch of stuff from born pretty so i spent the 30 dollars gift card and i got some stamping stuff i got some white stamping polish and pink stamping polish because i'm just out of stamping polish sometimes i just like to use stamping polish i some nail polishes work you can stamp with them and I do it, but I've been kind of missing just having those little bottles of like stamping polish. So I got a white and a pink, and then I got a toe bean cat stamping plate, love it. And then I think I got some more, if I can remember, <laughs> I can't even remember now. Then I got, I think I got some more of their magnetic gels because I love the Born Pretty magnetic gels. Um, so I wonder if that will come in this month of December or will it be January? I don't know, but I'll share it with you because I'm going to be super excited about it. Um, because it's, you know, I got to pick everything with the $30 gift card. So it's just all the things that I really like from Born Pretty. Um, and I also just got one of their files because I've never tried a Born Pretty nail file from them, a hand file. So I want to try that. So I got one of those. So stay tuned for that. I wonder if it will be in this Vlogmas or will it be in January? I don't know. They didn't tell me when it would be delivered. Um, and it being... The month of December and Christmas, I'm guessing shipping's kind of backed up, but I don't know. Also, I'm so happy because you saw me earlier. I got to practice my keyboard, you know, practice scales and everything. Get these fingers moving. They're so stiff after months of not doing it. And I, I start feeling bad when I don't get to practice anything musically. I just feel bad, but I haven't had the time because, as you know, if you watch my past vlogs, you know that I'm working on... Um, a camper we're turning it into a filming center which is going really well we got it completely painted before it got really cold outside super excited about that of course it's going to be easier to film in there um when it's warmer out not when it's freezing cold because i've already told you the camper has no heating has no like when it's warmer outside i can just open the windows for a cool breeze or you know i can't really film in there when it's freezing cold but i think it's going to be an awesome film studio and the cats love it so I've been working on that for, I feel like, months. So I haven't got to sit down and, and practice the piano, which makes me sad. So I'm so glad I got to do it and I got to work out. I did not show you that because I, I don't know, I'm self-conscious about it. So I got to go to bed now because I am so tired. Very productive day. Very productive Vlogmas Day 8 because I haven't felt very productive because I haven't felt good. But I feel better and we got a lot done today. Oh, and I washed my Christmas sweater so now I can finally wear them. Now you can finally see me in them. I feel like this whole vlogmas so far up to this point, I haven't worn any of my Christmas sweaters because none of them were clean. But I washed them today, they're in the dryer, and I'm gonna start wearing them tomorrow. But to get tomorrow, I have to go to bed. So, <laughs> good night. I said I was gonna show you. This is a fully charged. Look how bright and beautiful. It's, oh my gosh, I almost dropped it. <laughs> oh. Let's put it back safely. Your girl doesn't drop it. She kind of tipped over there. She kind of just leans up here. Man, you don't notice until you charge up. Look at that.
All right, let's open day nine of this jewelry advent calendar. Well, hold on. I gotta finish my cookie. My brother made his peanut butter cookies. It is really good. Door nine, which is this super cute uh, deer with a scarf on. No, is it a Rudolph? Oh, it's got a red nose. Must be Rudolph. Okay, let me get my old fingers in here. We got a necklace. This is a tarot card charm. This is a perfect example of something I will not be wearing. I'm going to dispose of this charm. And I'll probably use the chain for something. But I definitely am not going to wear this necklace. Because I don't believe in giving people any kind of threshold in your life. So I will dispose of that. All right, let's read a Bible verse. I need my soul to be cleansed after that. It's even seeing that image. Okay, let's find day, day nine. Day nine right here. I love how easy it is to open in this advent calendar. It's really easy. Oh, we got a piece of chocolate. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's O Saint Nicholas. That's a really cute Saint Nicholas. Okay, let's read the Bible. So all went to be enrolled in each to his own town. Luke 2, verse 3. Because they have to enroll, so they have to go to Bethlehem. And then, as we know, Jesus is born there. Very important verse. Short, but very important. Hey, Sucrose. Yeah? You want to pizza of chocolate? You want to try it? Yeah, sure. Oh, thank you. How do you like it? it tastes good. It kind of has a flavor to it's it. It's kind of nutty. Yeah, yeah, it kind of has flavor Because this is just milk chocolate, but it tastes a different from milk chocolate. It doesn't just taste like sugar. Yeah, because milk chocolate is really sugary. Yeah. But it, it, it has a little flavor. bit of a nut nutty taste, even though this has no mm -hmm. nuts in it whatsoever, because it's milk chocolate, plain milk chocolate. I like it. It's good. Hello, listeners. I've just been editing all day, trying to catch up on my Vlogmas Day video since that day that I kind of didn't feel good. Um, I've kind of been behind. So, I've been editing all day, and also I've been eating some candy cane. I've been wearing that square necklace. When did we open this? Day three? Day two? Day three? I think it was day three. I've been really enjoying it. I disposed of the charm today because it's not like those kind of symbols mean nothing because they are evil so they do mean something and they do hold power and you don't want that evil power not over your neck and nowhere near your day to day because we can't have anything in our way when we're trying to achieve our dreams and trying to be happy every day and life is hard enough there's no reason to make it harder. Centers is just very important that we protect ourselves from those kind of things because it's not just a piece of jewelry it's not just a plain old symbol. And it's not good. And guess what? Look. Yes, that's what it looks like. It's laundry. Clean laundry. I wash my Christmas sweaters. I've been wearing this one all day. It's really warm. It's my Grinch one that I got from Walmart for like 10 bucks last year. Ah, I kind of scratched myself with my own ring. And also today, I found my little compartment full of Christmas earrings. So I can wear Christmas earrings every day and look to Christmas. There's one thing I wanted to say is, how come in these vlogs I never edit in me eating? It looks like I just drink coffee all the time and I don't even eat or something. Me editing all these vlogmas as I'm seeing that, but... So I want to, you know, tell you that I do eat three meals a day and I eat maybe two to three snacks and I drink water and coffee. So why don't I ever want to show it on camera? In vlogs, a big thing is what they're eating. I guess, I don't know, I just don't like to show myself and edit me eating, I guess. I don't know. For breakfast in the morning, I usually eat bran flakes with whole milk or a bagel. Um, for lunch, I eat a sandwich with meat and cheese with mayonnaise, lettuce, and if we have maybe chin. I usually eat baby carrots for a snack. I usually eat dark chocolate for a snack. Now, I don't I don't have money for like dark chocolate, so I just get the dark chocolate chips that you can bake with. And we also bake with them with like banana bread if we need to, but that's what I snack on. It's just chocolate chip, dark chocolate chip. And then for dinner, I usually eat rice and chicken or mac and cheese or chicken patty. Um, let's see. What else? What else do I eat? I like beefaroni. Tell me down in the comment section down below, senders, what is your favorite meal? My sister makes the best smoothies. She takes that mixed berry fruit from Walmart, takes one of those stick blenders to it, and she puts milk, yogurt in it, and then I, of course, lavish it with a bunch of dark chocolate chips. So yes, I just wanted to talk about food. Because I feel like food is not ever prevalent in my vlogs for some reason. What holds for us tomorrow? I'm going to hopefully load a Vlogmas episode tomorrow. So I'm just going to keep looking. But now i got to render it. See, I'm in bed right there. I have to render it now and see how it renders out. Then i got to make the thumbnail. Then i got to upload it. But I think I'm going to go to bed now. I'll probably do the rest tomorrow on Vlogmas Day 10. I wonder what it will hold for us. I don't know. We're just going to have to go and see. And remember, senders, our dreams will send to the highest peak.
I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.